Bonjour, buongiorno, boa tarde, buenos tardes, good afternoon. Today's topic, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to talk about spirituality, but normally I don't like to filter the website. I, you know, we browse it the way it's posted and, you know, uh, most of the new stuff is on top. But what we did do this time is I did sort it in this subreddit by top. So it's showing us the top posts for this subreddit. And um, I did try to load up some of them already. Yeah, we did load up some of them already because, um, so for example, our first story with 575 upvotes. I think the universe just saved my life. Okay, that's interesting. Let's, so now we're going to go ahead and click it. Now we're going to do a, a deeper dive. We're going to jump in. So here we go. Aquari Aquarius Snap or something like that. Aquarius is Snap or something like that, I think, is the username. And thank you for posting and sharing this with us. So I'm going through a really, really rough patch. I was seriously considering ending it all, but I decided to give it one last shot. And I asked the universe for one last sign of a butterfly to show me life is going to get better. Okay. I've gone through spiritual periods of my life, but I've never felt as connected to the universe as I do right now. I've seen eight, butterfly, eight butterflies in the past hour. Between seeing a pair of butterfly earrings to getting sent a picture of a quote saying, don't just exist, live. Oh, that was in quotes, I'm sorry. With a butterfly on it. Seeing an old picture of a butterfly I drew nine years ago, the universe is really speaking loudly to me. I think it may have saved me. Update. An hour later, I've seen 11 butterflies in total today. Update number two. You are all so sweet. Heart emoji. Thank you all so much. Wishing you all the best. X, X, X. Now, I also failed to mention this story was posted 23 days ago. And I think that's pretty cool. This person's having, uh, you know, they're, they're, you know, they feel it. They feel it. Okay, so, okay, cool. And then the number one comment in this thread is a, is a, is a butterfly emoji. I really like that. That was really cool. Let's upvote them. That was really cool. Thank you so much. So we're not going to dig too much further into that, but I hope that um, you guys are awake and aware and listening to the universe and the God Source Creation Matrix, you know, uh, but anyways, that being said, our following story with 516 upvotes. 148 days ago, I quit alcohol. 17 days ago, I quit smoking. And seven, no, 17 days ago, I quit smoking. And seven days ago, I quit caffeine. All forms of. Now it is time to delete my social media and concentrate within. Wow. Wow, amazing. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and read this person's, um, and it is careless underscore hospital underscore 26. Thank you so much for sharing this. This was posted 11 days ago. So I'm now at the point in my sobriety journey where I do a mental reset and delete social media from my phone. Not permanently, just until I feel I'm ready. So my bipolar mind doesn't have an opportunity to cling on to anything negative that isn't realistic, jealous, envy, etc. Not being able to consume information that doesn't serve me directly. Interesting. So I thought I'd just make one last post here for the sake of leaving one. It's still very early days and I've been told too many times that I'm likely to fail because of the amount of things I'm quitting at the same time. Now, I don't know who's telling you that and that's very disappointing that they're not being supportive and I do not plan on going off my meds okay I didn't know she was on meds why because they make me normal I know all I need to do is keep doing what I'm doing and maybe do some research on what food I should be eat, eating it'd be nice to it'd be nice to wake up social media free tomorrow okay interesting very brave individual and uh, we're gonna go ahead and read the first comment just so we can you know see Congratulations. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> well, congratulations, definitely. <laughs> All right. Our, uh, our third 
Our third story just says it's a reminder, I think, about religious stuff. I don't know if we're going to unpack that or not. So we're going to go ahead and skip to our fourth story with 332 upvotes. Today is someone's best day of their life. Okay, interesting. A truth to remember. This was posted 20 days ago by E.M. E -M Clean 22. Thank you so much for sharing. And we'll go ahead and read the first comment. Today, my 105-year-old hospice patient repeated, life goes by so fast. Wow. 105 years young hospice patient said life goes by too fast. They also say that the youth is wasted on the young, right? But man. Okay. Our following story with 329 upvotes. Death is like. Okay. Death is like taking off a tight shoe. But that's a quote from Ram Das, I think. I'm not sure. I could be butchering your name, which is kind of what I do here. I just turned 36, but this quote has been on my mind for the last year. It comforts me. It reminds me of how much bigger we are than our bodies. Anyways, have a great day. Wow. The She Lebowski, thank you so much for posting this and sharing this. She posted this eight days ago. And the number one comment or reply or whatever is, I forgot where I heard this. Death is perfectly safe. Okay. All right. So, with our following story, 327 upvotes. I quit my job. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we're going to also load up the next story so that it's loading while we're reading this one. <clears throat> I just wanted to share my experience. I'm 20 years young. Worked 11, okay, the shift, the shift she would work, or he would, or this individual would work, is 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., five days a week at Walmart. Today, it finally hit me while working. What am I doing here? Throwing away eight hours of my life to do this? I can barely fit anything I enjoy doing in life. I lost so many connections and friendships due to this. I lost, oh, it made me unhappy and dread waking up. I feel I'm not progressing anywhere other than making 1,100 every two weeks. I'm still young. I have so much I can learn and become as a person. I then walked out and didn't look back. Excuse me. I lost myself in the matrix that I was once against, but now I'm hoping to get back on track and manifest better things in my life to make me happy. Smiley face. Uta. No. Ut Amira? U T A M uh, I A R? Oh, uh, 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 not R. A. Anyways, they, they posted this 12 days ago. And let's see what the first comment is. Okay, so this is a pretty good little chunk, too. So we got another little thing to read. I believe many people have jobs they hate because as children we are taught to trust the adults and not trust ourselves. Having a job you hate creates self-hate for not having a better life. Oh, man. The problem is we have learned to not trust our authentic selves, to not trust our own intuition and instincts, but to trust others over ourselves, which is awful. By quitting your job, you're putting trust back into yourself. Follow what your heart tells you. Find what your authentic self needs to do. Find what it is that you cannot do and fall and flow while doing it. Do not force anything. Just find your truth and learn to flow. Okay, I'm going to read that one again. I think I messed it up. Find what it is that you cannot do and flow while doing it. Do not force anything. Just find your truth and learn to flow. That's really great advice. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so like I said, I don't really like to filter or sense or anything like that. So this next story has 314 upvotes. Does anyone else feel like the world is about to end? All right. All right. So, <clears throat> I just had that feeling. Everything in this world seems to be going downhill and nobody's doing anything to stop it. I don't want kids because the world really isn't the same anymore. 
something is off. Now, S Summer, like some, like not Summer, like M, Summerfield posted this 19 days ago. Thank you so much for sharing this. And I'm, I am very sorry that you feel this way. And here we go. Hopefully this, this comment will really hit it home. I refer to the tower card in tarot. The old must crumble and fall in order to rebuild a better future. I think we are all literally all humans going through a death rebirth cycle. This is the excruciating labor pains before humans wake up and actually have compassion for one another so that we can move up and forward to a beautiful baby who is our precious future. Hold on dear one. It's a rough process. It will be worth the hardships to have our new beginning. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. Okay. Our following story with 295 upvotes. Why are the bad, narcissistic, gaslighting people always the one who get to live a good life? Ah, uh, I mean, I think that's an opinion, but okay, let's, we're gonna dive in, let's unpack this. Okay, so this was posted, Starlight-Healer posted this 16 days ago. Why is it these types of people who always have good things happen to them, why do they always get the jobs they want? Make new friends. Make the most money. I have witnessed this in my life with, with horrible people. The people who have caused me depression, anxiety, low self-esteem are the ones who get praised and looked at like they're amazing. Whilst I'm here suffering with the trauma they've given me. Why is the universe like this? Sorry to be so negative. It's just frustrating to think about. Now, I have my own... You know, but let's see what the top comment says. I haven't had to put my personal interjection in here because it's not really about my opinion. But anyways, let's see what the comment says. They don't. Since they are possessed by their selfish desires and ego, leading to suffering and dissatisfaction. Although they may feel temporary pleasure, which is meaningless without love, peace, oneness, and it also leads to suffering. Those were interesting points, and I'm glad they made the point, but I wanted to go back and say the people who caused me depression, anxiety, and low self-esteem. So I'm sorry that you allowed those people to make you feel that way, anxious, depressed, and that you were not worth, that you were less than. And um, you know, if you gave their words that much importance, maybe that's what you need to reevaluate. I mean, look, the universe is beautiful, you know, that we're a part of this God source creation matrix and um, karma is very real and karma does not skip a beat. And uh, I don't want to make this about me, but that's, I think, my take about it. Whilst I'm here suffering the trauma they've given me, I hope that you address the trauma. I hope that however you feel is right through counseling or meditation, whatever works best for you, starlight healer. Use a starlight heel, please. Okay. All right. Now, that being said, we're going to go to our next... Well, actually, see how we're doing on time. We're doing okay. We're going to go ahead and unpack. The, uh, let's uh, get this next one going. Okay. Our following story with 297 upvotes. How many have the feeling of wanting to save the world? Okay, cool. You see? What a roller coaster. Positive and negative. To, okay. Stretch, drink water, love, forgive. Freak bizzo, free kick bizzo, I don't know. Thank you so much for posting this 29 days ago. The first comment, or the top comment, I should say. As I saved myself, I realize the world is doing just fine. Hub, Hub Smash provides an interesting longer version of my answer. We are on different paths though, but still same conclusion. Okay, cool. Interesting. Let's go ahead and open up the next one. Affirmations for 2022. Oh my goodness. Let's see what that's about. With 200 and, sorry, 291 upvotes. This was posted four days ago by True Rosie. Okay. Repeat after me. This year, I will not chase. What is meant for me will be gifted to me. 
I will not worry for the future as it doesn't exist yet. I will not worry about the past as it doesn't exist anymore. I love, I am loved. I light every candle that comes into my life. I bless every room I walk into. I am protected by the divine. I give the universe my troubles as they do not belong to me. The universe and spirit will take care of everything. I welcome this year with open arms. Very beautiful, true Rosie. Thank you so much. I really like that mantra, that prayer, the affirmation. Beautiful. Let's see what the, what the, oh wow. And then the top comment is, bless you, with a smiley face. Indeed, Rosie, bless you. Stay blessed, and let's, let's have a great year. Okay, our following story. My spirit guides know, wait, wait, wait. My spirit guides know I'm full of, I'm not going to curse. I already have a blooper on here. <laughs> and if you didn't catch a blooper, well, that's an Easter egg for you to go hunt and find. Okay, here we go. So learn, learn something, something like, <laughs> that's the funny, the way they spelled it is funny. S-U-M-T-H-N, like learn something, <laughs> whatever. Posted three days ago. Every time I get angry and I'm at the point of blank people, I'm being selfish from now on. They always make it a point to prove me wrong. Every single time. I say, Blank people, they suck. I'm doing nothing for anybody. Then minutes later, someone comes to me needing something and I always help. <laughs> Cheeky bugger. This morning I woke up venting to my spirit guides and told them basically, go blank yourselves. I'm being selfish. Then someone dropped their wallet and I found it and returned it. Did they say there was money in there or not? No, but I mean, I just that's a good person. I wanted to mind my business, but they know I'm full of blank and I love people shaking my head. You win this time, spirit guides. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the top comment is, thank you for not being a selfish jerk. <laughs> and I hope you guys are learning some, some, something. I mean, my, I just, oh. I'll English one day, I promise. All right, are we doing okay? Yeah, I think we'll do like maybe one or two more because we still, I still would like to unpack this stuff. Maybe, maybe uh, I have to like breeze through that part of the, the decompression unpacking part or whatever. But uh, okay, here we go. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sorry, it loaded. I'm getting ahead of myself with 200 upvotes. This was submitted four days ago by subject principal. 754. Anyone else feeling blah today? Well, I mean, yeah. I wanted to be excited for the new year, but I've been feeling sad or just not in the mood all day. Can anyone relate? I really wanted 2022 to be a good year. Well, it just started. You can't say that it's not going to be a good year if we're literally, what, how many days into this are we? Like, come on. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Let's, let's look. Let's get back to, let's get back on. Skip back on it, shall we? All right, so the top comment is, yes, I really just want to be alone and tune out the world tonight. Unfortunately, I'm not able to. Yeah, you know, and we're gonna feel these kinds of feelings. And like I always encourage people not to make permanent decisions with temporary emotions. You don't permanently always feel down and out. I mean, just like you don't always permanently feel happy and bubbly and stuff like that. You're gonna go through this roller coaster that, that is life. What we perceive is the Uman experience. It's, it, you, we chose to be here. Let that one sink in. Okay, this may be the last one that we unpack, guys. Um, but here we go. With 193 upvotes, some spiritual jokes to lighten the mood a bit. Oh, really? Okay, okay. 14 days ago, World Citizen 7. Now, I hope these are... are or brilliant. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Oh man. Okay. What do you? <laughs> what do you order a? Okay. You know what? Let's let's tell her. Hey Alexa. What do you order at a spiritual hot dog stand? 
Here's something I found on the web. According to United.com, the menu is simple. Hot dogs or shrimp in four flavors, Hawaiian scampi, lemon pepper, hot and spicy, and spicy pineapple. By the way, I have a routine we might like. Hey Alexa, can, we can you stop? Thank you. Okay, so let's, let's do that again. What do you order at a spiritual hot dog stand? One with everything. Brilliant. Okay. All right. Alexa, what did the Buddhist monk say to his teacher? Sorry, I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did the Buddhist monk say to his teacher? Thanks for nothing. <laughs> you cheeky bugger. <laughs> Okay, so we're not gonna throw them back at her. She's not, she's not having fun with us. Anyways, I tried to phone the spiritual leader of Tibet once, but was sent a big goat with a long neck instead. Turns out I had phoned Dial A Lama. Oh, that was corny, but you know what? All right. <laughs> that was corny, but I, you know what? Let's do it. Okay, the following joke. I went to a spiritual healer last night. What a load of rubbish. Even the guy in the wheelchair got up and walked. <laughs> they see me rolling. Okay, cool. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> I'm tired of explaining to my spiritual guru how emails work. He just can't understand what attachments are. <laughs> you cheeky bugger. Oh, man. Okay. There's another joke, but I mean, yeah, yeah, we've already, yeah, I've already been, yeah, we've been going at it for a little while, already too long. Okay, so that's a commercial playing, so I guess I'm going to have to, like, uh, divert your attention. Well, you know what, let's... All right, cool. So this is trippy everything. I really liked the, the last time we had this landscape and I wasn't sure what it was gonna show us. I originally wanted to put the Chapel of Sacred Mirrors by Alex Gray, but since we already have a copyright claim, thank you, Troy Terrain, um, I didn't wanna push it and put, you know, co potentially copyrighted material on here. So uh, this is a YouTube channel, trippy everything. You guys, salute. Thank you so much for the fractals. What is it, 4K at 60 frames a second? I mean, brilliant, beautiful. Um, this would be kind of like a glimpse of a spiritual realm or something like that. Is a commercial over or no? Oh, it's not over. All right, so what do we got over here? Oh, wow, okay. So I went back in OBSD, or what is it, OBS, Open Broadcast Software, jumped into the little level that I made in the Half-Life 2 engine. And uh, it's supposed to be a pillar of fire and a pillar of ice, but I put water. And then you can see the web, the love chakra matrix. So this is just one little 3D scene I created. I got some more cooking and um, just really rusty. I haven't built 3D levels in a long time, but uh, I'm having a lot of fun. And like I said, um, we still got a lot of stuff in the pipeline. And um, here we go. So this is pretty cool. And this is one of those things I was telling you about what we got cooking in the pipeline. Yes, the crypto stuff is cooking. But see, when I played this game, this is Dusex. This is the original one. When I played this game, I was so young, I couldn't really understand the narrative, the story, or the, um, the conspiracies that were going on. If you're not familiar with this universe or this game, I would definitely suggest you check it out, especially if you're into conspiracies and stuff like that. I'm not going to spoil anything because I I've played it, but I couldn't appreciate it when I was that when I was younger. I couldn't appreciate you know what was going on, but now you know with uh, you know knowledge and a different uh, uh, perspective, you know you can see things in a different light. So I would definitely encourage you to check out this franchise. Uh, it's super old school as you can tell by the uh, CGI and stuff, but. Um, that's going to wrap it up for today, you guys. Um, thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Go, go spirit yourself. And um, I love you guys. 
Thank you so much for the privilege of your time.